All right, all right, all right. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Good evening, students. All the great ten students. Welcome to all the new students who are watching me for the first time. Wonderful welcome. Yes. Thank you so much for getting associated with WOC. This is your Vani, ma'am. Back again with one more important topic. The students, as you all know, we have started with the grade ten series. Yes. Grade 10th, we have already started and we have done one chemistry chapter. Done. The first unit chemistry is done and I have already sent the notes in the telegram also. Perfect. Now, we have started with the biology chapter. That's nothing but your life processes. Yes. In life processes, I have already done one video where I have explained you what actually is meant by nutrition. Yes. Types of nutrition also. Now, in this particular video, I'm going to explain you, as you have heard me right, what is meant by photosynthesis. Shall we start, students? Without wasting time, shall we start the series? Yes. We're going to start the question, start the video, start the topic. Perfect. Welcome, welcome. Today, we are going to start a topic called, what is photosynthesis? Simple as that. You're, you're observing something, right? First definition is important. You are observing a green plant here, beautiful green plant with flowers, yes. You are also observing sunlight, you are observing carbon dioxide, you are observing water, you are also observing giving out oxygen, simple. What is photosynthesis definition? But first of all, photosynthesis is a process, students. Process means a method rather. Okay, photosynthesis is a process. What is this process? In which this process, what is happening? In which? All right, I will write this definition initially for your examination. So, photosynthesis is a process in which your green plants, green plant is in front of me. Yes, green plant. I am not writing a dry, dry plant. In which a green plant. In green plant, what does it do? It's going to prepare food. It's going to prepare food. Okay. From where it is preparing food? It is going to prepare food by using, as I said, sunlight. It is requiring sunlight to prepare food. It is requiring carbon dioxide to prepare food. It is requiring water to prepare food. It is also requiring chlorophyll. Means chlorophyll is there, green plant. That chlorophyll, that is where your food prepares. Also, as I said, green plants will have chlorophyll. So, in this green plant, chlorophyll is where the pigment is where it prepares the food. So, once again repeating, photosynthesis is a process in which green plants prepare their food using sunlight, carbon dioxide and water. And whole, the whole process, where does it happen? It happens in the chlorophyll which is present in the leaf. Simple definition. Easy, easy peasy definition. Yes, it is an easy definition. So, I can write this in an example. Now, you are seeing this leaf, right? Just now I said, what does leaf, leaf have? Leaf have chloroplasts. Inside, what is a pigment which is present? Pigment which is present is chlorophyll. Because of which the green leaf, the leaf is green in color. Correct. Now, what does this green leaf do? It's going to pick up your sunlight. Okay, the sunlight which is obtained from sun. Okay, done. Then, it is also going to absorb water. From where am I getting this water? Water formula is H2O. From where am I getting this water? This is absorbed from? Absorbed from roots. Correct, no students? From roots, water, water uh, you pour. That is absorbed from the roots. It is coming through the xylem tissue. Okay, this chlorophyll or this leaf is also absorbing carbon dioxide from where this carbon dioxide enters there are small small pores inside the leaf right what are those pores called the pores are called from the uh, they they enter this carbon dioxide and not from the carbon dioxide enters through it enters through what it enters through stomata the small pores are called enters through stomata so stomata is nothing but I will be explaining the, in detail stomata are the small, tiny pores which are present in the leaves. So, carbon dioxide enters through stomata. Okay, done. Do I have an eraser? No, I don't have an eraser option here. Okay, done. Then, after taking all this, the, what does it, everything it's taking, sunlight is taking, water is taking, carbon dioxide, what does it give out? I'm putting an arrow. It is going to give oxygen out. Correct? This oxygen enters into the air, right? It enters into the atmosphere. Yes. Now, at the same time, this leaf also is going to prepare sugar. Okay. This prepares sugar. This sugar, whatever is there, it that, as a byproduct, it gets converted to starch. Now, starch. This starch is the food, students. This is the food which is present in the leaves. 
yes this is the stored food this is there in the stored food it is there this particular food is present in this leaf and that is how your plant utilizes for its growth yes sugars are getting converted to starch and then stored food now in the lab how do i test the starch when i take in uh, like iodine solution when i dip iodine solution in iodine solution if you take a beaker in that you add starch you dip iodine solution you drop iodine solution starch immediately turns blue in color if it turns blue in color it means there is starch presence perfect this is what happens with the leaf easy isn't it now first of all in this photosynthesis i know the definition perfect i know what is happening in the leaf now i have to learn the steps isn't it basically remember in photosynthesis how many steps are there you have to write in the exam total number of steps are four let us learn step number one total are how many step four four steps are there so remember four steps you should write in the exam okay this four steps what is the first step first of all step number one is activation i'll tell you what it is activation of chlorophyll in leaves chlorophyll in leaves activation of chlorophyll in leaves oh what is this ma'am what happens here in activation of chlorophyll let me draw a design wow this is a beautiful design i know i drawing also all right so which will activate activate means triggering it the sunlight whatever is there which is there present in the atmosphere in the sky this sunlight will trigger or it is going to activate your it will activate the chloroplast in which you have chlorophyll chloroplast is present in the leaf so it's going to trigger the chloroplast in which chlorophyll is there so chlorophyll is get, getting activated with the sunlight now what happens this chlorophyll here it's going to take means you very well know no? from the leaves from the roots your water is reaching that yes this chlorophyll is going to break the water bond it will it will break this bond whatever water it is absorbing you know that water first it will break the bond because chlorophyll is activated when water is broken during the step 1 process there is release of hydrogen this is the most important thing step 1 in chlorophyll got it students step 1 activation of chlorophyll and the chlorophyll will break the bond of water and it will release hydrogen gas this is okay step 1 is clear okay done now step 2 what will happen ma'am i'll write step 2 you should impress the examiner you should write step wise step 2 is reduction of carbon dioxide okay this reduction of carbon dioxide whatever is there what should you remember students from where am i getting this carbon dioxide basically you're getting the carbon dioxide from the earth's atmosphere one is your water one is your sunlight one is your carbon dioxide is what we said now when we speak about reduction how can i just answer this reduction process so normally i said reduction remember it is nothing but addition of hydrogen this is nothing but addition of hydrogen or removal of oxygen anything both are same removal of oxygen either way it can happen so during this reduction process what should i understand you are trying to add hydrogen to your carbon dioxide now you are adding hydrogen to your carbon dioxide now what is this reaction we'll see this in step 3 this is clear reduction is addition of hydrogen carbon dioxide now gradually i am going to step 4 in this step uh, step 3 rather step 3 what will i do i'll gradually release or just check there is a formation of starch which is happening inside this starch or oh, what is starch actually starch is nothing but the food which we are going to see right so this is a food which is formed inside yes so this food how is it prepared just now i said step 1 is done step 2 is done so your carbon dioxide to this carbon dioxide the water is there inside the reaction water is broken hydrogen is getting added to carbon dioxide this all the whole thing is happening in presence of what this is happening in the presence of sunlight now together put together what are they preparing they are preparing starch as a food what is the formula your c6h12o6 is a starch which is formed the glucose rather which is formed starch glucose so it's going to release and during this process whole process oxygen is released plants release oxygen correct now what let us balance how many carbon atoms are there six so i'm going to put six how many hydrogen atoms are here 12 so i'm going to add six to this how many oxygen atoms are there here six oxygen atoms so i'm going to put six here now let us see whether it is balanced here six here six here six here perfect balancing and this is called glucose this is the food which is formed in step 3 now what will happen in step 4 mom you said step 4 the most important thing 
in your step 4 when it's going to the step 4 part simple the glucose whatever is there the glucose gets converted into starch this is the most important step which we have so in step 4 let me put my uh, masterpiece design i said your glucose whatever is there it gets converted to starch now starch what is the difference man starch is a stored food this is a stored food which is there in the leaf stored food in leaf so in leaf the food is stored as a reserve rather leaves in other parts also and other parts also other parts other parts also it's going to store the food and keep it so what do we understand now complete reaction in the presence of sunlight is photosynthesis simple now before we go and go to the next topic let me just see one question very important but before that let us do one summary what is the uh, summary students yes step number one i'm taking the summary of the photosynthesis let us take the summary right step number one what is this this step number one most important it is part of light reaction which happens light reaction which happens in photosynthesis what is the light reaction step one tell me i just now said activation of chlorophyll correct then comes your step two three and four those are part of dark reactions which are happening dark reactions now tell me dark reactions and photosynthesis what is step two reduction of carbon dioxide step three formation of starch step four conversion of glucose into starch yes so in the exam they may ask you careful question what are light reaction light reaction uh, steps and what are dark reaction steps in photosynthesis dark reaction steps so careful dark light reaction steps are step one only dark reaction steps are step two three and four perfect yes right this is photosynthesis now after all this they may ask you this question because you understood what is that oh no let us understand this how do materials for photosynthesis become available to the plants you said photosynthesis is happening how do they become students first of all this is a question it's a very good question now first of all let me draw one plant okay i'm not so good but okay because this is i'm by using a writing pad right okay i'm using a writing pad so that's why it is little bit big so you have your leaf you have your leaf you have your leaf you have your leaves yes. so now just check observe carefully students yes now here first of all what 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 does it require it's going to require water water this is there correct yes from where you you're pouring water to this right you're pouring water to this now this water I'll let me write what what it requires it requires water it requires carbon dioxide it requires sunlight also okay first water what does it do from the shoot and from these stems from a xylem tissue what is the tissue the tissue name is xylem tissue it goes and enters the leaf okay so from water is entering into the leaf through this xylem tissue point number one done carbon dioxide from where is carbon dioxide entering Carbon dioxide is entering through leaves directly. Yes, carbon dioxide enters through which one? Through stomata. Stomata. Stomata of the leaf, carbon dioxide is entering into that. You very well know sunlight. Sunlight enters through the atmosphere. So, raw materials are available from where? You understood, right? Available to the plants. Sunlight, and carbon dioxide and water. Simple as that. Now, if they ask you two marks question, what is the significance of photosynthesis? First of all, significance, simple, nothing, there is no confusion, nothing. I am clear about the concept. I have to tell photosynthesis, first of all, is what? Photo means, photo is light. Synthesis means food, production of food. In photosynthesis, solar energy, whatever is there, it is available, no? Correct, no? So the solar energy, whatever is there, the solar energy, whatever is there or available in this, it is made available for living beings. Photosynthesis main, uh, the main way through which, yeah. So because of this photosynthesis, this photosynthesis, this photosynthesis, whatever we there, we are making the solar energy to, made available to what? We are making made available for living beings. Correct, na? Available for living beings. Perfect. So this solar energy, whatever is there, is used to prepare food indirectly. We are dependent on leaves also. So how will I write this? Photosynthesis is the main way through which is the main way through which 
through which solar energy is made available for living beings. This is the first importance. Correct? Na? Yes, you have been using it and reserve food is prepared. How is this related? I'll tell you how it is related. Okay. This is, okay. Left page is left less students. So, I'm going to use this only. Next, green plants. Green plants are there. Perfect. So, this green plants are preparing food. So, green plants using the solar energy, they are preparing food. Preparing food. Now, you only tell me directly or indirectly, we are dependent on green plants. Directly, we are dependent. You animals directly eat the food. Indirectly, we as human beings depend upon the leafy vegetables, fruits, vegetables, everything. So, green plants. So, that also is a part of the photosynthesis. And last and most important thing is, it maintains, the photosynthesis maintains the oxygen balance, carbon dioxide balance in nature. Perfect. So, again, so solar energy is one part which is helping or generating the food in plants. In plants, I am eating directly or indirectly and the maintaining oxygen and carbon dioxide balance. Perfect. Perfect. Yes. I do understood it. Hope you have understood. All right, students. Thank you for watching the video. Thank you. And for watching, <clears throat> I request all of you to please like the video your comment matters a lot to me and i also ask, request you to share the videos to also share yes now coming up next what what are coming now photosynthesis is done now next i'm going to teach you about your digestive system beautiful diagrams everything i'm going to show you next i'm going to teach you about your uh, respiratory system respiratory I'm going to teach you about your, um, yes, circulatory system, shall I write? A transport, transportation, okay, circulatory system, circulatory. I'm going to teach you about your nephron structure. I'm going to teach you about your heart structure. Watch not students' heart structure. All right, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye. See you in the next video. Signing off.